Hey there, folks. Have you ever laid eyes on the cutest security guard ever? Well, today's your lucky day because we're about to introduce you to an incredible invention that's taking the security world by storm. It works as a security guard and is made to wander around big places. It's really good at moving because it has a special wheel system. This robot can go to places like warehouses and forests. It goes at a speed of about four and a half kilometers per hour when it's patrolling. And it can work even when it's raining or snowing. To find intruders, it uses a special camera that can see infrared and another camera that can see in the dark. Plus, it has speakers and a microphone so it can talk to people. It's really smart too. It uses artificial intelligence to make reports about what it's doing. Sure. Imagine there are two companies, one that rents scooters and another that works on medical technology. Well, they joined forces and guess what they made? The world's first scooter that you can control with your mind. Here's how it works. They have a special device that reads the signals from your brain, kind of like how they measure brain activity in a hospital. Based on what your brain is telling it, the scooter goes faster or slower. So if you're really focused, the scooter goes faster. But here's the catch. Right now, this mind-controlled scooter is just an experiment. It's not something you can find everywhere yet. That's a bit of a bummer, because some people could really benefit from having a scooter like this. Have you heard about the world's first airplane that runs on liquid hydrogen? It's pretty cool. But the people who made it did even more amazing things. They took this hydrogen plane really high more than 2,200 meters up in the sky. They also flew it for a long distance, 124 kilometers between two airports, and it was a successful flight. Now they're planning to make an even bigger airplane with 40 seats that can travel up to 2,000 kilometers. The plane you see in the picture is called the H2 Fly High 4, and it can go about 2,500 kilometers if everything is just right. Oh, and here's something interesting. Liquid hydrogen is way more efficient than regular jet fuel, almost three times better. That's why using hydrogen for airplanes could be a great idea, even though it's still a bit tricky to make it work perfectly. The United Nations says that by 2030, about 670 million people still won't have electricity. So it's really important to come up with new ideas to bring electricity to faraway places. Here's a cool example. There's this big box, and with the work of just one person, it can become a solar power plant in less than half an hour. It can hold up to 180 solar panels, and when they all work together, they can make 75 kilowatts of power. The best part is that this power plant fits inside a regular 6-meter container, so it's easy to move around. The people who make these have different versions, and they've sent them to 36 different countries. One of the big tech shows in the world is called IFA, and it happens in Berlin in September. At this event, Lenovo, a Chinese tech company, showed off something really cool. They had a special monitor called the Think Vision 273D. This monitor can show different pictures for each of your eyes, so you can see 3D stuff without needing special glasses or gear on your head. But there's a catch. To get the best experience, you have to be in the right spot. You need to be about 60 to 100 centimeters away from the screen, and you can't go too far to the side. You need to look at it from a certain angle. This fancy monitor will be on sale in January, and it will cost about $3,000. Spider robots are being used in different ways around the world. In Japan, they help inspect sewers. In the United States, there are tiny robotic spiders that are only about a centimeter in size, and they are used for really small surgeries. Even students are getting into making spider robots. 
students at Lincoln Ping University in Sweden, made one as part of their graduation project. This university is one of the oldest in Sweden, so their robot is pretty good. It can move on its own through a simple maze and handle obstacles, and people can control it with a live video feed when needed. Here's the interesting part. You can actually build a similar robot yourself. There's a kit you can buy for $730, and when you put it together, you'll have a robot with a hand-like part and artificial intelligence. You can use it for fun or for serious things like testing computer programs for sorting and handling stuff. Some really skilled people even make their own custom robots, for example. Someone's working on a robot that you can actually ride. Microwaves, penicillin, and matches all have something in common. They were discovered by accident. Well, you can add Protector B to that list of accidental discoveries. At first it was made for one specific job, helping bees with their pollination. Here's how it works. They put fungus that's good for plants on beehives. When the bees go through these fungus dispensers, they pick up the fungus and help plants grow better, and it keeps them healthier. But it turns out Protector B can do more than just that. When the people who made it asked for feedback, they found out some cool things. First, it helps bees protect their hives better. Second, it scares away animals like skunks that might want to mess with the bees. Third, it helps control bee traffic. And fourth, it makes beekeeping easier because it can also be covered with stuff to keep bees healthy and safe from diseases like European foul brood. Over the past 20 years, the number of people affected by floods all around the world has gone up by 24%. When we look at pictures from satellites that are older and newer, we can see that areas where floods can happen have gotten bigger, especially in places like the Middle East and Africa. Because of this, many countries, as well as the people who live there and the folks in charge, are getting ready for natural disasters. They're buying different kinds of barriers to protect against floods. Lots of companies make these barriers, so it's tough to stand out in the market but Garrison Systems has managed to do it. Their barriers have shown they can be trusted, even during a big hurricane like Katrina, and the US military believes in them.